Okay, um, let's try my luck again. <clears throat> Little Diet Coke. Uh, just IPO. Okay, um, how about Dutch defense? That'd be a bit of fun. Stonewall, maybe. Or classical. Very classical. Hmm. Uh, going for a quick e4, is he? Hmm. Can I answer it with e5 like Malachine would? Some games. Okay, so I've got my e5 in. Uh, knight c6 or c6? Uh, Maybe knight c6. Hmm, okay. It's going for b7, is he? Oh, great d4. So I'm playing knight c6, he takes. I might get bishop c5 to be dangerous later. I'm hoping. It gives me c5 for that bishop. I'll weaken that pawn. Nope, he hasn't. Okay. Can I just play knight b4 now? Knight b4, uh, okay, what is he going to do? He's going to chase away the knight, I'll go back to a6, or I go back to d3, knight h4, I lose the knight, or do I? Probably, knight c1. Hmm. Uh, actually, what would be nice, oh, let's keep on that diagonal. It's gone now, bishop c2. Then bishop d3, doesn't that just win pawn? Bishop c2, queen moves, bishop d3. That's a bit naughty. I'll try it. <clears throat> a bit of a computer like forcing move. Bishop d3. Hitting the rook. Won't be able to take on c4. Probably regrets having played d5 now. Hmm. Looks good. Knight f5 though, bishop d8 maybe. Um, I can't take this, can I? Bishop d3, a3, and that's not getting anywhere, so I think bishop's going to go back now. Done its job. So knight d3 next. Get a nice knight on d3. I like knights on d3. Like Kasparov Optimus Knight, Cup of Kasparov Classic. <clears throat> but also Knight G4, that looks fierce actually on F2 and H4 here. I suppose Knight F3 is no big deal, maybe. I'll be Knight D3 first, I'm almost threatening something. Mind you, Bishop F1, and if E4, there's Knight E4, Knight E4, Bishop D3. Mind you, there, then there's knight f2, so maybe, I don't know, knight d4 and e4 is possible. Knight d4, bishop e4, that's no big deal, is it? So the knight's got nowhere to retreat anyway, so I think it has to go back. It has to go to d3, it has to. So bishop f1, e4, if takes, okay, he's closing that on that knight. Ball knight, like a sparrow knight. So I'm going to play b5, naughty. I can play bishop takes b5, uh, takes, and I lose it. So knight g5, knight takes f2, takes, take on d1. Uh, rook f2, I don't think so. What about bishop c4? Simply bishop c4, there's no knight c1 yet. Bishop c4, can't see a problem immediately with that. Just to stop this b5 business. <coughs> In fact, Okay, so e4, we're back to f2, the stream on f2. If I play e4, takes, takes, takes on d3 as rook f2, I'll play that. That knight on d3 is becoming a theme of the game now. In fact, takes, I'm on his queen. Knight takes, knight takes, I'm on his queen. So knight f5, knight g4, this could get very tasty very quickly if I play my cards right here because of the f file. <coughs> So knight b4, historically that has been a disaster for Capablanca in the Alakai match. There was a game uh, Kappa lost, he underestimated knight b4. Knight g4, knight e7, does it matter if I lose the e7 bishop? It's not doing anything. 
but I'm going to lose e4 and he takes on f2 and he protects f2 so I want to maybe play bishop d8 for queen e5 actually instead I'll support e4 so if bishop d8 takes 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 I'm on f5 so I want to keep f5 as a target so I think bishop d8 mind you queen g5 now is dangerous whoops whoa what's going on here queen g5 am I forced for queen g6 there's no knight e7 I want to play knight g4 here before it's too late queen knight e4 queen e4 bishop d3 I'm winning f5 there knight, knight g4 also stops queen g5 actually knight h5 queen g5 knight h5 okay what about just b5 to cementing d3 try that can't undermine with a4 beautiful knight love a knight on d3 so um queen h5 and knight g4 also i like f file pressure two little treats of the position here f file knight on d3 what more I want I suppose I want to improve or weaken the king safety factor here so queen h5 now it does weaken the king a bit There's something nasty happening here maybe knight g4 next I have to unravel ah oh. okay c6 and bishop b6 could be handy something to bear in mind I can't connect the rooks at the moment so it's going to give me time for that knight g4 I'll be on f2 uh, taking taking uh, it takes on d3 though so what about knight takes f2 then knight g4 I'm on e3 uh, queen moves somewhere queen e2 there's rook f2 just winning on the spot isn't it rook f2 so knight f2 king takes what about knight g4 there queen h2 looks pretty good king e1 looks too dangerous or just even knight g4 and then rook f2 again so knight f2 looks as though that's crushing because of knight g4 queen moves uh, rook f2 there's queen h3 though rook takes f3 queen f1 queen h2 king takes okay okay so this knight f2 i think i'm going to take i'm going to take giving up my beautiful knight for this f file attack to get knight g4 and rook f2 I'm hoping this is going to be cool so 1 minute 30 I don't want to lose on time and mess this one up ok so knight g4 here we go <clears throat> he's giving up his queen ah ok uh, can I play for e2 I've got e2 trying to win a piece nope not yet ok uh, can I pin things bishop d4 e2 he's got queen e2 ok He's got knight f4 winning the queen. And it's queen h6, not yet. Okay. Um maybe bishop d3 is a good idea. Bishop d4, queen h6 of knight f4. Okay, uh get this guy in. I think I want bishop d4 in. That hits a7, he takes on c7, rook f2. I think rook f2 is a killer here. Yeah, to play for rook f2. It's upon the summit ground. Bishop d4 and rook f2. Ah oh, no, he's depriving me of that. Okay, if I take, then e2 and bishop d4. Aren't I on anything here? Nope, probably not. Oh no, don't tell me this is going to be a typical muck up in time pressure. Um, okay, okay, 45 seconds. <laughs> I'm a queen up. <laughs> Doesn't that mean anything? Queen h6. Uh, okay, okay. Let's keep calm here. Let's put some battery pressure on with queen f6. Then there's knight e4, then there's rook e4. Battery pressure, queen f6. There's expected bishop g4. What about queen d2? Queen d2, knight d1. There's rook d1. Got rook e6 coming. Whoops. So I think I'm going to have to take and then take on e4 and then queen e4. No, I, I, why do I have to take that? Otherwise he's got bishop f7. Okay, okay, I have to take. He hasn't got the other rook in just yet. 
to the position but it's not looking that hot so he's got lots of pieces for the queen but not too much time if I take on c3 uh, block this diagonal for a sec nope he's materially doing very well in fact rook e7 I was queen d5 I just lost on time. <laughs> oh, blimey. That, that was to the wire. Oh, blimey. Um, so knight b4 here. I'm sure I was doing well here, winning that c4. The knight looked gorgeous, and I decided this brilliant idea of knight f2. So he sacrifices his queen for two knights and a rook, which isn't much of a sacrifice, two knights and a rook actually so which questions actually knight f2 is that the best approach here it's a beautiful knight to waste with knight f2 knight f2 did i need to play knight f2 no surely not just knight g4 but he takes 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 on b5 now if he takes on b5 is rook f2 so he takes on d3 takes takes on b5 but I've won the light square bishop positionally that looks good just winning the light square bishop or for carrying on the attack so he had loads of material here for the queen okay time pressure decided it comments or questions on YouTube and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do it's free and you'll get notified of uh, any new videos thanks so much